Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. The final week of the PLL season. It's been a long season, I'll tell you that much. Um, obviously because of the Olympics and everything like that. But, we made it. And we know that seven of the eight teams will be going to the postseason, to the quarterfinals. And one team will have that good old week off all the way to the semifinals. Now, there's a lot of things that need to be discussed here for the Premier Lacrosse League because there is a lot of things on the line here. You know, a lot of people really want Grant Armament to win the MVP. As I'm looking at it right now, he's a plus 300 favorite for the MVP. That's, that's how you, you know you betters out there. You know the guys who like to bet. That's going to be interesting. There's also a lot of Thompson in the race, of course. You know, Rob Pinnell. I mean, just a lot of talented guys. You know, very talented group of guys, you know, from all across the league. And, uh, you know, there's just there's only a couple of games left in the season. There's only about six or so games. And right now, I do have to go down and look and see because I believe... You know, it is, yeah, there's also some players retiring, re retiring, there's also players retiring, like John Gall Galloway and Joel White, you know, they're retiring at the end of the season, and it's a do or die game for the Cannons and the Chrome, and even Chaos, you know, do or die, you know, especially for the Chrome, I believe, um, I do have to look at the standings once again real quick, hold up. Yeah, there we go. I, I, I found the standings right here. Atlas, they could potentially, you know, and it's a very surprising that Atlas of all teams, you know, is 6-2. But, I mean, they've been playing their hearts out, man. They only have one game left. My Water Dogs, they're sitting comfortably at number two in the league standings as we head into Albany, New York in the final week of the season. I don't know how that's going to actually work out because, um... There is a um, certain team in out in the there's a certain team in that same city that's supposed to get championship that weekend. So I don't know how that's gonna work out. Actually, I did not realize that, how how weird this is gonna work out. Man, people in Albany are gonna have a lot of fun this weekend. I bet you. Um, but Chrome, as I said, Chrome, Cannons, and Chaos—they're all kind of fighting. You know, it could potentially be. You know, a lot of things could happen this weekend. And I believe a couple of the I believe a couple of the Chrome games are going to be on NBCSN. Let me check real quick. I have it in my doc. I have it on a little document here um, that I keep track of. Give me a second. Yeah, yeah, it's the, yeah, it's Cannons, Chrome, and Chaos. You know, again, they're all fighting for you know, trying not to to be the one left. You know be the one that's left not in the postseason and you know chaos they just I believe they just have to win a game you know all they have to do is just win a game same thing with the cannons all they have to do is just win a game you know but cannons and chrome that really is the elimination game right there that is on NBCSN unfortunately not on big NBC NBCSN you know on Saturday night same time as the NAL championship game. Again, I don't know how that's going to work out. You know. Um, yeah. Most, for the most part, you know, this season, you know, really, really surprised me. I mean, there's been some big surprises. You know, Arches and Redwoods have been good. You know, the Water Dogs got it together. And they're sitting, you know, obviously at number two. Whip Snake's kind of a down year, honestly, for them. They had a lot of injuries, you know, especially towards, you know, the latter portion of the season. They had a lot of injuries that caused them to lose games. And they even got, bull they even got whooped one game. I, I talked about that they got whooped. I mean, they got, they really got beat up in one game. You know, they, I mean, the Whip Snakes might not, you know, be repeating for the third straight year as a champion. I don't think that I don't think they have it this year. I just don't think. I think the injuries are too much to overcome. But I mean the trade deadline had already passed and stuff like that just a couple days ago, I believe. Or it might be next week or something like that. 
or I don't remember. I don't remember exactly. I, I keep up with PLL on the Twitter, on Twitter.com, of course, you know, because I don't have the app because I don't like using Twitter app. Um, I don't like using a lot of apps these things, but um, yeah, those standings are looking really, really interesting, you know. And I mean, again, seven of the eight teams will be qualifying for the playoffs. What does this all mean? You know, there's also a lot of things, you know, rumbling around with the PLL right now. You know, what in the world's going to happen with expansion? What's going to happen with the NBC deal? I mean, remember, the NHL is gone from NBC. And that's what I've been wondering for a while now. There actually needs to be more games on, you know, the actual NBC network. And now that NBCSN is also going to kick buckets. At the end of the year, what's going to happen, you know, now with that? What does the PLL do? Because, I mean, they're going all in on some things that are really nice, you know, like the betting thing and, uh, you know, you know, just having, you know, just having a really cohesive strategy. But, you know, cohesive strategy doesn't win, always win out in the end. And, you know, it is what it is there. But, yeah, I'm really liking the league this year. It really, really 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 surprised me I mean you got a lot of talent on all eight of these clubs and I hope there is a ninth and tenth maybe even an eleventh and twelfth club hint hint those old major league lacrosse properties you know I hope those some of those teams come back you know so we can get some more of that sweet sweet lacrosse no and I, I don't think we need as many bye weeks as we did I get it I get it. this year was an Olympic year um, I don't think we need like 77 bye weeks. We've had like four or five bye weeks this year. I don't think these guys need that many bye weeks. I get it. There were some weeks that they played two games in a row, but I don't think that should happen next year. That definitely shouldn't happen. Um, and the odd number of games really shouldn't happen either. You know, nine games. It's kind of an odd number. It's kind of like what the NFL did. It's just not a good number. You know, 17 is not a good number. Nine's not a good number. They don't, they don't gel well. So, uh, um, yeah, I, I'm just having some general thoughts here. You know, as we wind down on the season, and again, I don't, we also don't need the All Star game. Please get rid of that. All Star games are just nothing fun. They kind of suck. And they just do not. They don't add anything to any. They don't add any purpose to anything. So. Yeah, that's just my spiel there. Um, but yeah, what do y'all think? What do y'all think's been happening? Because I've been in the comment sections of the PLL videos too. So, you know, I've, I've been in there. I've, I've looked at highlights and everything like that. And I mean, again, just a very talented, very strong league. And, you know, hopefully things continue to go up, up, up. So yeah, that'll do it. Um, you guys will be seeing this in the morning, obviously, in about 12 hours, you know, as usual, when, when I do videos like this late at night. Um, yeah, y'all take care, have a good night, and I'll see you again soon with another video, baby, with another one. Take care.